Hi, this is Valerie Champagne. Welcome to this SharePoint 2010 tutorial, Customizing the Quick Launch. Clear and consistent navigation is crucial to the success of a SharePoint site. In this tutorial, I'll customize the left menu, also known as the Quick Launch. We'll add a link to the menu, and then we'll rearrange the links on the menu. We're going to add a link to our announcement list. Currently, there's no link on the menu for our announcement list. So we'll go to the All Site Content page. Here, we'll find a link to our announcements list, and we'll click to visit that page. If we want to make a link to this page, we're going to need to have its web address. So we take our mouse way up to the URL. We could copy the full URL, but as a best practice, we're only going to copy from after the dot com forward to the end. That's the relative part of the URL. So after the dot com, starting with the forward slash, we've highlighted, and I'll right click and copy. Now we're ready to go to the page that lets us customize the left menu. Site Actions, Site Settings, and I'll click Quick Launch. From this page, we have the ability to add links over to the Quick Launch, delete links from the Quick Launch, or even to rearrange these links by using the Change Order command. We'll add a link to our announcement list. We already have a heading for list, so we don't need to go up and make a new heading for our menu. We'll just click New Navigation Link. Here, I'll delete what's in the text box for starters and paste the relative URL I copied a moment ago. Now I'll type in a description. This is what actually appears on the menu. I'll type Announcements. We could have typed Company Announcements or Our Memos. And then I choose which heading to put that link under. Here I've chosen the heading Lists, which already is on the menu. And I click OK. Already we can see the link on the left menu. When we click the link for Announcements, we go to the Announcements page. Now I'll delete a link from the left Quick Launch menu. We'll go to Site Actions, Site Settings, and click Quick Launch. Remember, to modify the left menu, you can't work out here in the left menu itself. You must work within this Settings page. We find the link where we've added Announcements and click the Edit icon. In this area, we can edit the link that goes to the announcement list, the description, or the heading that the link appears under in our left menu. We'll simply click Delete to remove the link from the left menu. Remember, you haven't deleted the announcement list, just the link to it on the left menu. As a final step to customizing our left menu, we'll rearrange the headings and links that appear there. To do that, again, we'll go to Site Actions, Site Settings, and Quick Launch to the Quick Launch Customization page. To rearrange the order of our links, we click Change Order at the top of the page. Notice the current order of our left menu. Libraries are first, followed by lists. We want our lists to appear first, so we change the two to a one. 
I've also added a section for news sites with three links to three news sites. I want to move that to be the second section on my menu. I click OK to commit to the changes and the left menu now displays the new order. Now back on the home page of my site I can see lists are first, followed by news sites, followed by libraries, etc.